Hello again, adventure fans, to another spine-thrilling episode of Evans and Steve's Dads! We last saw our plucky college-aged chums fleeing the draft in the foothills of Appalachia. Evans' dad's baker's cyst had just granted him magical powers, and Steve's dad had discovered the true meaning of Christmas. We join the dauntless duo as they hunt for food in the Ozark wilderness. Man, these American wilds are sure spooky, huh, Steve's dad? I think I hear a secret military base. Where's it coming from? It's a huge military installation, right beneath our feet, spanning hundreds of miles. That might be working on a Manhattan Project, or a top secret coup d'etat. Who knew the Appalachians were just a cover to hide clandestine government workings? I bet those hillbillies we beat at basketball a few episodes ago weren't even real. I bet they were military hallucinations, or CIA holograms. I bet you you're right, Evans, Dad. Come on. I bet they're using the chicken patches and trunk stumps as ventilation and communication arrays. We should be able to sneak in through them and get to some adventure. I knew former Vice President Walter Mondale's birthday would work. <laughs> it always does. <laughs> well, careful, Steve's dad. My magical baker cyst is telling me something dangerous and experimental is up ahead. I can smell it too, Evans, dad. Let's hold hands to be safe. Bah! I was hiding behind the trash can. Oh. Ah! You young men must be those two adventurous draft dodgers I've been reading about in magazines all across the country. Well, I'll draft you right here and now and make you fight for your country. Not now, General. Baker's Cyst! I'll tie him up. I can't believe I was outwitted and outgunned by two impetuous young fathers-to-be! Take that, old man warmonger. Yeah! Take that, oppressive regime man. Bah! How did you know both my Christian name and my official job title? Bah! <laughs> you can't stop these boys, General. They're too young and full of spirits. Tune in next week, Vigilant Observer, when our chums on the run test their friendship to the limits by evading Nixon, McCarthy, their old gym teacher, and the Ghost of Christmas 1951. And as always, they'll continue their adventure to find young women to impregnate with their wonder seed, to bring upon the world their best and brightest progeny, Evan and Steve. <laughs>